Have you ever noticed all those unique flavors of hummus at the market? Well, with a solid assessment of your own pantry, you too could create a multitude of flavors at home. Let me show you how. I like to start off with some plain hummus and add a little bit of low-fat Greek yogurt to give it a nice tang and a little better consistency. And then after that, just add one or two extra items to make it really special. So maybe that's some spices from the pantry or some fresh herbs from your herb garden. Maybe it's something from the fridge, like some olives or sun-dried tomatoes, or even some condiments like hot sauce. All right, let's make a couple combinations. We could certainly make a lot of different flavors of hummus, but let's just go with three tonight. And uh, for our base, I'm gonna add about a cup of the low-fat Greek yogurt to about two cups, so, so about a two to one ratio uh, to our store-bought hummus. So that's pretty much most of this container. I like the low-fat Greek yogurt because it gives a nice mouth feel. It provides more of a, I don't know, dip-like consistency. So we'll get that going, and then we'll divide it up and flavor it along the way. Okay, we've divided our hummus out uh, fairly evenly. And for our first flavor, I'm gonna keep it fresh. So I just picked these chives, the first of the season, and I'm just gonna give them a snip in, uh, maybe about a tablespoon or so, depending on how much you like it. You can really put any herb in here. I think the freshness of chives can uh, really add something special. Mm, looks really good. And you know, to that, maybe just a little bit of salt and pepper, again, to pump up the flavors. that a stir and first pumped up hummus done let's move on to another one for our second one we'll keep it so easy and probably one of my favorites just a nice squeeze of your favorite hot sauce I'm using sriracha here uh, anywhere between a couple teaspoons to a tablespoon depending on how you, much you like your heat ah oh, great color and this one to me is so delicious all right Two down, one to go. Okay, we've done fresh, we've done spicy, and now I'm gonna end with super savory. So I know I've seen a olive hummus, and I also have seen a sun-dried tomato hummus, so I'm gonna put them both together, and we're gonna end with that one. I'm just gonna give our olives and our sun-dried tomatoes a nice uh, kind of fine chop here, and then just mix them into our last bowl. Oh, looks really, really good. Most all of those in there. Give that a nice stir. Oh, what great texture. Whether it's fresh, fiery, or super savory, I hope you try one of these ideas to pump up your hummus at home. And I hope you enjoy.